Hello everyone. In this session, we will discuss about the next machines. Very important machine is synchronous machines. So here, the synchronous machine itself it rotates with the synchronous speeds. Rotates with synchronous speed. So any other machine can't be rotated with synchronous speed. Generally, we have in electrical machines, we have number of machines are available. Those machines, we have to recollect the machines is like this. Here, the machines are, we have transformers available and induction machines also available and synchronous machines available and the DC machines available. These are the number of electrical machines. So in the induction synchronous DC, these all are have again subdivided into each is a generator as well as motor. Here also it will be generator and it will be the motor. Same phenomena everywhere DC also generator and the motor. Transformer is a static device, so there is no matter of rotation. It is a constant static device. But in case of induction, synchronous, DC, these all are having the rotating parts. So in these three machines, only the synchronous machine is rotate with the constant speed. Constant speed. So that's why synchronous machine is a machine which rotates with the synchronous speed synchronous speed that's why this machine is called synchronous machine and so always rotates synchronous speed it, it may be the motor or it may be the generator anything so whenever the constant speed is there then automatically it is the constant frequency device constant frequency device also it is constant frequency device right so just keep in your mind wherever the synchronous machine is there synchronous machine always rotates with the synchronous speed and the constant frequency so same as all synchronous machines all the electrical machines here the synchronous machines also two types one is synchronous generator another one is the synchronous motor Synchronous generator, it is a synchronous machine which acts as a generator. That means which will take generator, you know that it will take it will it will take the mechanical power and it will give the electrical power. Here the synchronous motor is a different case. It will take the electrical power and it will give the mechanical power. Right. And synchronous generator, we can call with the another name that is the alternator. Here we have the another name is there alternator, right? Why it is alternator means the synchronous generator generates alternating power. That means our voltage or current may be the alternator power. Voltage or the current, right? That's why it is called the alternator okay and in the synchronous machine we can analyze and we can understand each and every each and every machine right so first in this we have discussed the alternator the alternator is nothing but synchronous generator synchronous generator so it is nothing but the and the AC machine not DC wherever the frequency is there that is only the AC machine this is also the AC machine here the definition of alternator is a machine which converts mechanical energy to the electrical energy at a particular voltage and the frequency so you know that simple phenomena alternator which takes the mechanical power, mechanical energy or power and which will give the electrical power or energy with proper voltage and proper frequency. Both should be the constant values. Okay, right. Next. So now we should understand principle of operation of alternator. 
so what are the principles are available for the alternator so what we have to understand here right next here let's look at here it is a paradise law simply it is a paradise law just observe here whenever a conductor cuts the magnetic flux an emf or voltage is induced in the conductor a simple phenomenon so it is a conductor it has some rotation conductor will have some rotation and and when the conductor cuts the flux means conductor should be rotates conductor should be rotates that means it has some rotation any rotation whenever it rotates the flux in this conductor will be varies that means conductor will be varies so whenever conductor cuts the magnetic flux the emf is induced across it so here the voltage will be induces okay then the voltage value is represents with the e e is so b l v sin theta here b is flux density b is the flux density okay yes next l is the length of the conductor length of conductor and v is the vela v is the velocity and theta is the angle between the flux and the conductor flux and the conductor okay so by using this phenomena synchronous generator will be works okay next and we have another important principle is there that is fleming's right hand rule another one is the fleming's right hand rule so here fleming's right hand rule generally if you keep the three fingers so this is the one finger and this is the another finger and this is the another finger if you keep these three fingers four finger represents direction of flux so if it is the direction of the flux and thumb represents motion of the conductor conductor will rotates in this direction center finger direction of the induced emf so this is the motion and this is the induced emf induced emf okay so this is called fleming's right hand rule this fleming's right hand rule is useful for giving the directions understand the directions of the direction and give the directions of the emf and flux and the conductors okay so especially so alternators will work on two principles one is paradise law so this is nothing but the paradise law law and this is fleming's right hand rule next next topic is construction of the synchronous machines so so this is about the introduction of the synchronous machine and uh, what is the definition of the synchronous machine and next the alternator and the principle of the synchronous machine okay i hope all of you understand the session thank you